Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Welcome to day 186 of this year's Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. This year, our annual challenge is to do one thing every day that gets you what you want and me what I want. And we do that by setting goals and objectives in nine different life framework areas and aspects of our life. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships this month, contribution, communication, and confidence. All of them work together and are interrelated to help us get what we want. One of the best things we can do is to be clear on what we want, have a plan and objectives and goals to get us there, and then we break it down into little teeny daily action steps, daily bite-sized pieces to guarantee that we get our goals by the end of the period, by the end of the year, etc. So today's topic, we're focusing on relationship goals this month as part of the life framework, that part of the life framework. And yesterday we went through an exercise, and of course I did a little different than what I talked about, but we still should have all done pretty much the same thing. We considered our relationships and then setting a goal in that area based on was it necessary, important, required, worth it, desired, essential, and mostly positive or negative. Now, the one I picked, and I'll be, I'm gonna go through it in using the SOAP framework over the next couple of days, is my relationship with myself, right? What is more important than our relationship with ourselves? I can't think of anything because that's where everything begins. So today, our our action item is to think of the S in the SOAP framework. And S stands for story based on our situation, our current story, as well as, because we've got to know where we are right now by being really honest with ourselves and saying, what is my current story? What is my current situation? What am I telling myself about my relationship with myself right now? What are you telling yourself about the relationship that you've picked to improve, right? Because why would we look at something or do anything if we didn't want to improve it? And you might already have a good relationship. The one you're looking at, maybe it's with your significant other. You already have a good relationship, but you want to go from good to great, or you just want to make it better. Or maybe your relationship isn't what you want it to be, and so you want to improve it. And you want to find out by taking some actions if it's even worth it, because you might think it's worth it, but you might discover that it's not worth it at all to continue down a road that isn't right for you. So I started mapping out my current, I just have on a, a piece of paper, a column for current and a column for desired. Why? Because I found it's fastest and easiest to think of all the things that are currently going on and then ask myself, is this what I want? How does this make me feel? If it doesn't make me feel good, if it's not what I want, then my desired thing is probably gonna be the opposite of that or something very different. So that's our action item today. Define your current story and your desired story. Why? Because when you know both those, where you are and where you want to be, it creates this void or this gap that automatically pulls us toward what we want. Even if we don't set a goal in that area, we'll automatically move toward what we want because we've clearly defined our desired situation for that particular relationship. So today that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking about what's my current relationship with myself right now. And like everybody else, we always have areas we can continuously improve in and what do I want it to be? How do I want it to be? And mine involves a bunch of things about automatic voices, right? Automatic thoughts and how we can get rid of those. And we all have ANTSs. Uh, I can't remember the name of the doctor. I've got his book here close to me somewhere, but not in view, uh, not in my view anyway. Uh, and he talks about ants all the time, automatic negative thinking and thoughts and what we do about each of the different ones. Great book, by the way. If anybody wants that information, ask me and I will find the book and I'll put it in the comments below. All right, that's it. That's our action for today. If I can help you in any way, if you've got any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have a terrific day.